In this video, we're going to give you a couple of training tips that aren't necessarily about the throttle, but rather how to structure your training sessions to get the most from you and your dog. The first thing you see is we treat the gate as kind of our crate that you would have at a dog show, so that as soon as the dog steps through the gate, they know that they're in work mode. So the dog is not really free to wander around the yard, do whatever they'd like, but instead they're very focused on the handler and we're going to click and reward that focus. Now we build this up over a period of time so that this is something she's been doing from a very young age. There you hear the click and you see that we're tugging with her now and we're going to bring her all the way to the start line. So for this session we're working on threadle handling. That happens to be what we're working on. I've got an assistant here, Sarah, and she's going to hold the dog because I don't want to use start line stays when I'm using this new skill. So in between repetitions I try and take as little time as possible. Now I've edited them out to keep the video shorter, but the transitions are very short. It keeps the dog engaged, excited, and fresh. Even on knocked bars, Miria is receiving rewards because right now we're not focused on jumping. These bars are set at 16 inches. So here we have a slow motion look at the classic throttle. Here's an example where Miria drops two bars. She did get the click and reward for that. Here we have a slow-mo of the throttle followed immediately by the rear cross. And we ended on this repetition. So there's an example of ending on a knock bar, but that's okay. And we take her in all the way back into the gate. Once she's there, the session is over and the dog's free to do whatever they like.